Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 6. Okay. Now you may try to guess what the answer will be, but then how do you solve it? Let's go. Now from here we have that. 2 and um, 4 here is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2, then the power of x, then plus 2 to the power of x equals 6. Then from here, this is the same thing as 2, okay, this x can come in and the square can go out, plus 2 to the power of x, and this is equal to 6. Now what do I do? If you look at this, we have 2 to the power of x here and 2 to the power of x over there. So let's replace, replace this with um, a letter. So let um, let um, b be equal to 2 to the power of x. Right? So that means in place of this, I'm going to have b squared plus here now we're going to have b okay and this is equal to 6 now we have a quadratic equation let's bring everything to the left so we have b squared plus b minus b it's actually 6 minus 6 equals 0 now the next question you will ask yourself is what are the two numbers you multiply to get minus um, 6 and you bring the two of them together to get the coefficient of b and that is um, 1 okay now the two numbers will be 3 and minus 2 because 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 and 3 minus 2 is 1 which is a coefficient of b okay so from here let's go directly so that we have b plus 3 and then in the other bracket, we have b minus 2. And then everything equals 0. From here, it is either b plus 3 is equal to 0. Or b minus 2 is equal to 0. Thank you for watching. Please, if you are the one to solve it, would you have used this method for it? Okay, let's continue. Now, b will be equal to 0 minus 3 or on this side b will be equal to 0 plus um, 2 if we continue b will be equal to minus 3 or on this side b will be equal to 2 but then remember that we did not have b in the equation okay remember when we say that b is equal to 2 to the power of x right so when um when b is equal to minus 3 now let's put it over here we have minus 3 to be equal to 2 to the power of x but is it possible that 2 to the power of any number will give us minus 3 nope it's not possible so this means that from here the x from this will be rejected because it's not going to be real okay but then remember on the other side we have b to be equal to 2 right so let's go now we have b to be equal to 2 but remember that b is also equal to 2 to the power of x and that will be equal to 2 and 2 is automatically to the power of 1 the same base therefore the powers should be equal x is equal to 1 so this is what we have and now let's go back and put this into the original equation the original equation is 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 6 okay and then this means that um, 4 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 will be equal to 6 and that is correct because 4 to the power of 1 is 4 and then 2 to the power of 1 is still 2 and this is giving us um, 6 right 
Okay, so this is a confirmation that x is equal to 1 satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching.